Nadia. Nadia is the one that plays the flute, and Annie is the one who plays the guitar, and they are identical twins. Yes, and they are connected by more than just their looks, as it says in your program. Here are Les Sœurs Labri, yes. the Labri <laughs> sisters, also known as Duo Similia. Good afternoon, everyone. We are pleased to take part of this wonderful meeting of minds. Many thanks to Mr. Osnheimer. Thank you so much. We'll have a look on a little video. Uh, it's from a um, TV show named um, Woman of Music, and it's have been broad broadcast on the Bravo channel. And it's a little, little part just to show you a little bit more ab about our duet. And after we'll talk a little and maybe play a piece together. We did our uh, conservatory, and after we went to uh, to uh, University of Montreal. And for myself, I uh, finished my uh, my ma master degree with Alvaro Pieri. Nadia finished uh, at the University uh, of Montreal, and after we took uh, together uh, and private, uh, lesson. private, uh, private pri lessons with uh, Patrick Gallois. Oh, yeah. Pat Patrick Galois, the very, uh, very known uh, flutist yeah. and very good teacher too. We have uh, an incredible connection together. It's, uh, it's very the same easy. Musicality. Yeah, the same musicality, and it's very easy to play together. It's as if we can reach each other's mind musically. show you how connected we are. <laughs> One day I was, um, I was playing with uh, the Jeunesse Musicale World Orchestra. I was in Germany and Annie, she was uh, at Montreal. And um, I was asleep and suddenly I woke up and I was feeling terrible. After a little while it passed and when I came back two days after at Montreal, uh, I, I saw Annie that she was really, really, really sick. After uh, yeah, a few days, I asked Annie, when exactly did you start to be sick? And she said, oh, it was two days ago. I said, oh, no. Really? At what time exactly? And it was exactly at the same time. Yeah. So after, after this experience, we said, OK, we are very connected. We love to play together. So we decided yeah. to do not be separated again. Yeah. For musicians, I think it's very important to do their own path and to do whatever they feel. Uh, and th there's not only one possibility, like um, when you're learning at school, they say, okay, you have to be uh, a member of the orchestra, of this orchestra, or this orchestra, but no, it's not like this. Uh, you can do this, but for myself, I've played two years in, with the Jeunesse Musicale World Orchestra. I loved it, but it wasn't my uh, tasse of the tea, <laughs> <laughs> my, my cup of tea. <laughs> so, I decided, <laughs> so I decided to play with Annie because this was my cup of tea. <laughs> 